day, Kavibal, and welcome to our Learn at Home Facebook Live. For the discussion today, the topic will be on teacher-made diagnostic tool for assessing students' writing and language comprehension. Before we begin, take note of the following reminders. Make sure you are registered to the webinar to have your e-certificate of participation. Visit certificate.vibalgroup.com to generate your proof of attendance. Place your questions on the comment box allotted during the session and they will be addressed by our speaker later on. Share the video using hashtag LearnAsOnePH as our official hashtag to our Vibal webinars. Experience learning, Kavibal! And now, to proceed with our webinar this evening, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished speaker today. Carlos A. Buraga graduated cum laude from Isabella State University, Kabagan, with a degree Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. He finished his master's degree in education at University of Makati. In 2018, he pursued his PhD in English language teaching at Metropolitan College. Currently, he is working on his dissertation for his EDD in management at University of Makati. He has been teaching for nine years in Makati High School as an English teacher. He believes that our dreams to come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Mr. Carlos A. Buraga. Good evening, Kavibal. Good evening, teachers, and good evening to our uh, viewers. Welcome po sa ating evening session, and um, thank you, Vibal, for this opportunity again to um, share um, something that I know about um, diagnostic uh, tools. Um, it's I know it's been a very busy week for us, um, very busy attending to webinars. Um, we're busy doing... Um, teaching and learning materials for our uh, students that are tinapasukan. Kaya thank you so much po sa mga um, kasama ko po ngayon sa session na po na to. All right. Um, before I start my uh, presentation, I'll just have, um, let, let me just uh, greet very quick my um, uh, division, division Superintendent, Ma'am Carlin Cedilia. Good evening po. My uh, Principal, Sir Felix Bunagan, and my Assistant Principal in Senior High School, Ma'am Giselle uh, Laud. And um, as I was saying a while ago, I am very honored to um, to be uh, speaking again in today's uh, session. So let me share my screen. All right, um, our topic uh, for this evening is all about teacher-made diagnostic tool for assessing students' writing and language comprehension. Um, my topic is, I, I, this, this one is very interesting because um, I've, I, I've been teaching uh, writing for, um, for four years now, for four to five years now, and I've been wondering actually why students struggle writing. I struggle in, in, in making good um, writing. And um, unti unti ko siyang um, na discover kung bakit nagi struggle ang mga students in coming up a, a, a good writing. So um, it is very important for us teachers to. Um, to know to diagnose our students so that uh, we will identify who among these students are are, are struggling or ha have problems that is why we need to uh, diagnose and by doing this we can uh, pinpoint some of the weaknesses of our students especially uh, in in this time of uh, pandemic all right so um, let me share to you my outline I will start my um, discussion with, I'll start with my introduction by giving definition uh, and importance of teacher-made tool. And as they say, assessment and feedback are at the heart of a learning experience. That's true, right? And um, discussion will be more on the teacher-made writing 
and uh, language comprehension diagnostic assessment tools because teachers need to understand what makes uh, a good diagnostic uh, test. So we will explain what we know about key areas of diagnostic test design and how testing relates to the classroom and how leads to um, effective teaching and learning. I will also share some strategies in teaching, writing, and language comprehension. And if we have clarifications or questions, you can just write uh, them on the comment box below and we will entertain uh, those questions after the presentation. And after that, we'll have the conclusion. All right. So what is writing? What is, what's writing comprehension? Writing is, 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 is one of the, the macro skills that a student must, be, must develop in, in as early as um, grade three, right? So writing is a skill. Um, it is the ability, writing comprehension is the ability to develop and express thoughts in a cohesive, structured manner. Uh, like uh, what I've said, writing is a skill and the skills required for effective uh, writing include knowledge of spelling, what else? Um, capitalization, punctuation, and, and grammar. And if students are good at writing, they will have a better chance at communicating their ideas clearly, right? So writing is, is, is usually the fourth language skill that, that we learn. So we have listening, um, speaking, reading, and writing. And reading and writing are closely linked concepts. Why? Because if there are reading problems, there is likely to be um, writing comprehension as well. And based on my observation, students re really have uh, difficulties um, in terms of how they translate their, uh, their ideas into uh, written, written words. Um, there are actually situations that indicate that the students have writing and language comprehension problem. Um, we can easily identify those students. Children or uh, students will usually express their frustration and difficulties in a general way like, um, I hate writing, right? Um, this, is how, this is how they describe uh, how comprehension difficulties in particular affect their writing. You know, um, students or children would tell, uh, it takes me so long to, to, to write something, right? And this actually makes them frustrated about it. And actually this, this problem could be addressed, right? If proper diagnosis and proper instructional um, instruction will be given to those uh, students. The problem perhaps is that these students are not exposed to different strategies, perhaps, that would make easier for them to express their ideas, like, uh, for example, using graphic organizers, um, outlines, maps, and uh, software to organize their ideas. So writing is a very uh, important skill that must be developed among students. What is language comprehension? Language comprehension is the, the student's ability to derive meaning from written and oral language. This is actually um, one of the struggles of the students to be able to derive meaning from what they have um, from, from written and, and oral language. Now, uh, it is one of the most complex skills because it involves a variety of, of, of capacities. What else? Processes, um, knowledge to derive meanings from spoken and, and written language. And a student must be capable of both decoding uh, a text and understanding language, uh, language to gain meaning. And that is very challenging on the part of the students. And, um, Language comprehension is very important to writing comprehension. Okay? To, to, to write and uh, understand a text, a child uh, needs to be able to understand the language. So these are uh, interrelated, right? These are linked to 
uh, together. Assessing students' writing and language comprehension, a teacher's first responsibility is to provide opportunities for writing and encouragement for students who attempt to write. And uh, research suggests that the development of um, student when it comes to writing requires a supportive environment in which we can or in which they can uh, receive sustained opportunities to to write. So um, as 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 teachers, as parents, we should provide our we, we should provide them. Okay, we should provide our students enough uh, exposure for them to acquire the use of of, of language. A teacher's uh, second responsibility is to promote student success in in writing. Like like what I've said, teaching writing is it's writing is a process, and with the the right guidance and support, I believe our students can grow. That is why um, the teacher needs to carefully monitor okay students writing to assess uh, their strengths, what else, uh, weaknesses teach um, specific skills and strategies in response to students' uh, needs and would be able to, to, to give feedback. That is why assessment is really needed because it is an essential component to effective instruction. Using teacher-made diagnostic tool, we can assess the, the writing and language comprehension of our students. All right, what is, what, what is meant by teacher-made diagnostic tests? These uh, are assessments that teachers design themselves based on the information that they want to gather from their students. We are, we are testing because we want to examine and compare our students' uh, profile. And through this, we are able to identify the, the weaknesses uh, the learning deficiencies, what else, the gaps in, in our students. You know, may mga students tayo mga, may mga problems or may mga problema in, in comprehension. May, meron mga gaps na kailangang uh, punan, right? And this step is, is very important in determining the student baseline performance because students have, have, have diverse backgrounds. And and um, skills in, in literacy, right? They come from various um, backgrounds. And I believe we need to, it, it is very important to address those um, areas that are challenging for our students. Next is teacher made diagnostic test helps teachers make informed instructional decisions. Remember, uh, a teacher cannot make an appropriate instructional match between a student's skills and appropriate test without assessment. That is why it is re really um, imperative. It is important for us teachers to, to examine our, lear uh, our learners uh, because through that, we are able to look for strategies that will be provided to support their needs. And lastly, teacher may diagnostic test um, helps uh, teachers to make necessary instruction or to uh, modify their uh, strategies that would target these students' learning deficiencies. Kapag alam natin kung ano ang stand ng ating students, we can give uh, individual attention to, to these uh, problem, problem areas or challenging areas in their, uh, for example, writing and language comprehension skill. For example, we can give um, coaching, right? However, making diagnostic test, teacher made diagnostic test is not uh, easy because we need to carefully construct uh, items, right? And it should be it should be of of quality, right? And it should be reliable, and we should uh, do uh, or perform procedures for administering and scoring and the interpretation of scores. Um, carefully constructed teacher-made diagnostic test and um, standardized test are 
are actually similar in many ways. Both are um, constructed on the basis of carefully planned specifications, um, type of test items, what else? Uh, both provide clear directions to the students, but, uh, but, but these uh, two still differ. May mga pagkakaiba yung dalawa. They differ in like, like what I've said a while ago, they differ in the quality of test items, uh, the reliability of measures, and the procedures on how to uh, administer and score and interpret um, the scores. Okay? No doubt that, that the standardized tests are actually good and better when it comes to quality, more, more uh, reliable and valid. Right? But we teachers cannot always depend on um, standardized tests because um, maybe these are not um, suited sa needs ng ating mga students or it may have it may have different objectives kaya naman uh, we teachers we prepare our own diagnostic uh, tools however it's guidance like, it's not an easy uh, task okay the downside to creating our own diagnostic tool is that it, it takes a lot of work, okay? It, it takes a lot of time. And that uh, we teachers should be provided uh, proper training on how to design a, a diagnostic tool. Okay, uh, I, ha I have your example. I would like you to decide which one of these tests is better for a writing test. Is it Test A or uh, Test B. Okay. Um. If 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 you chose Test B, let's let's think about why. Okay. Um. So Test A here um asked uh, the students to write a letter about a celebration in your country. Test B um says this is a message you receive from a friend. Help. For my uh, homework project, I have to write about special day that people celebrate in your country. Which special day should I write about? What information should I uh, should I include? Write a message answering your friend's question, and you should write about hundred words. Now, if you chose test B, let us uh, think about why. Um, first, test B creates more of of, of 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 a context, right? So it gives more information about the situation. Okay. Another one is that test B is more. I believe it's more specific. It relates to the idea of, of, of providing more information so that students would know what is uh, expected of them, okay? And uh, as you can see, test B is, is more authentic, right? It, it, it's fairer because it, it gives um, students ideas of, of what to write. And Another one is that it gives concrete ideas of the students and it provides, I think TASB provides uh, clearer instructions. In other words, um, teacher-made diagnostic tool should be developed in a way that is number one, contextualized, specific, and authentic, all right? Next one is the guidelines on how to create a teacher-made diagnostic tool in writing and language comprehension. First one is identify and analyze the writing and language skills that students need to learn, okay? Um, identifying and analyzing the, the, the writing and language skills that students need to learn. I mean, wh what do you want to diagnose from your students, okay? By, by doing this, it allows you to break uh, things down further. So you can pinpoint uh, issues or challenge, uh, areas that are challenging for the students more accurately. Second one is design the assessment that is aligned to the, the writing and language comprehension skills to be measured. And um, when designing a teacher-made diagnostic, uh, tool, we should always um, base our assessment to the learning competencies, okay, that we want to measure. We can refer to 
uh, to the Bloom's taxonomy of, of assessing different types of learning objectives. Okay, and um, lastly, interpret the results of the diagnostic assessment. Teachers can develop a diagnostic uh, assessment. Yes. Okay. We just have to to make sure that we align our learning objectives and instructional strategies. And by doing this, okay, we can use uh, the results of our diagnostic, uh, our diagnosis to to um, to make or to plan instructions. Okay. All right. Um, learning competencies in writing and language skills. These are uh, the different competencies, okay, from primary to uh, high school that that students need to to master. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are the learning competencies in writing and language skills that we consider in making diagnostic tests. Okay. So these are the skills in writing and language that are expected. Okay, sa mga, sa mga uh, learners natin on, in, in the primary level, okay, students should be able to demonstrate eagerness to explore and experience oral and written text and to communicate meanings and feelings effectively. Okay, areas, uh, these are specific learning competencies in writing and language skills in uh, grade four learners, okay. Speak clearly using appropriate pronunciation and intonation. Write uh, two to three sentences about the characters in a literary text, listen to, and so forth and so on. Okay, I am just presenting this so that we uh, we can be we, we we are guided on what competencies, specific competencies that we will include in our diagnostic uh, tool. Uh, grade five students. Use appropriate facial expressions. Plan a uh, plan a two or two three paragraph composition using an online or other graphic organizers and so forth. And also, we have here uh, specific competencies in writing and language skills to uh, grade six students that they need to master. Relate an experience appropriate to the occasion and write a three a three line four stanza poem. Okay, and in, in, in uh, high school students, these are the, the specific competencies that they need to master, okay? All right, hindi ko na po isahin, isahin because it, it would take time, all right? Uh, grade, eight, grade eight students, uh, they should be able to use the correct sounds of English, uh, present ideas using a variety of graphic organizers and so forth. Grade nine, uh, they should master uh, these skills in writing and language uh, comprehension, use appropriate uh, segmentals and super segmentals, okay? Distinguish between and among informative uh, journalistic and literary writing. And finally, we have grade 10. These are, why am I presenting this, okay? Because when we make diagnostic tests, okay, we should base um, our test or our tool in the learning competencies, okay, that we want to diagnose among our students. So that's why uh, we, we have, okay, and dami uh, natin specific learning uh, competencies in writing and language skills na dapat i-master ng students from primary to uh, grade 10. Okay. Um, it is very important to assess the student's writing and language comprehension skills, yes, okay? Because through this, we help students identify their strengths, what else, their weaknesses, okay? We evaluate um, instructional activities, we give feedback, we, we monitor their, their performance and report their progress, okay? So in doing this, we have to take into account the, the three P's, okay? We have the process, the product, and the purpose. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be guided with, with, our, um, with our presentation with these uh, three P's, okay? The process, the product, and the purpose. Okay, what about the process? When uh, we want to determine 
the reasons uh, for writing problems and students' instructional needs, it would be best if we looked at the process of writing, okay? That is, the students, um, that is a st that, that's the steps, okay, or, or, of um, any strategies that students go through, okay? And uh, as they work at, at writing, okay? So it, it, it's, it's very important for us to, 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 um, to, to, to know or to identify their strategies and when, when, uh, during writing, okay, process. Um, next one is, uh oh, all right, uh, how much planning? In, in the in process, and it involves planning, right? How much planning does the student do uh, before he or she writes? Okay, meron ba siyang specific strategies na ginagamit for organizing his ideas? Ano yung mga obstacles to 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 getting uh, to getting um, thoughts down on paper? Paano pag may mga words siyang hindi hindi alam spell? For example, okay, does does the student reread uh, what he has written? Okay, what kind of changes does the student make to his, 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 his final draft? Now, these are the things that we have to look uh, in assessing the process. Now, I want to uh, share this five-step conceptual um, model for teacher observation of, of the, the, the writing process. Okay, uh, we have plan, organize, write, edit, and revise okay um or in, in other words the acronym for uh, power assessment for assessment of writing process can be done through observing students as as they go through the steps in in writing okay i think we have to 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 help students become be, become familiar with how they carry out okay the process is involved planning what else uh organizing um monitoring, revising, evaluating, okay? Have students master those things and, 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 and we encourage them to, to use the, uh, those things, okay? So let, let's take a look at this um, um, tool, okay? So um, here, for example, in planning, ano ba yung ginagawa ng student during uh, the writing process, okay? Um, how much planning does a student do before he writes? Was he able to, to, to brainstorm? Okay. So ang gagawin, ang, ang gagawin teacher, uh, when, when, he, when he makes use of, of this assessment, um, uh, how do you call this one? Uh, this assessment tool in, in, um, in assessing the, 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 the students, um, skill in uh, writing and um, language comprehension in, in the process, okay? We, we, we can make uh, use of this one, okay? Organizing, okay? Ano yung mga, ano yung mga strategies na ginagamit niya to organize his ideas? I mean, um, do students decide which organizational pattern to use to help them organize their ideas, okay? Um, for example, here, uh, the student put similar ideas together. Uh, the student chose the best ideas for his composition. All right. And uh, how? Wh what about writing? Okay. Here, uh, the students complete uh, a first draft. Okay. So, do students write their ideas in sentences? Okay. Um, what about in editing? Uh, editing stage. Okay. Do the students reread and evaluate? their drafts, okay? Do they mark parts na hindi klaro sa kanila, okay? And the last one is, is revising, okay? Yung mga students ba nag-incorporate nag, nag ng changes and improvements as, as, as they rewrite their composition, okay? Students with, with learning disabilities have trouble with the overall process of, of written communication. Yung approach nila uh, to writing, you know, shows little systematic planning, okay? Makikita natin through, through uh, observation. 
na yung may mga may mga students tayo na na hindi systematic kanang ang uh, planning okay they do not know how to to organize their ideas and that would affect their uh the product of or or the output okay of of, of their of uh uh in, in terms of writing and, and uh, language. Okay, after the, the process, we have to, to uh, look into the product, okay? An effective, an effective product uh, or an effective writing process should lead to a successful product, okay? So, jan papasok ang length, ang format, okay? Um, product, is a writing uh, fulfills its communicative intent if it is of appropriate length, is is logical and coherent, and has uh, a readable format. So these are the factors to consider in assessing the student's writing product. Okay, we have the fluency, okay, content, convention, syntax, and vocabulary. Okay, what about fluency? The first writing skill a teacher might assess with a beginner writer is fluency or the ability to translate one's uh, thoughts into written words, okay? Once the students have, have mastered to or have learned to compose sentences accurately, that is minimal, uh, minimal grammar, uh, minimal spelling, capitalization, and punctuation errors, the next step is advancing as a writer to write fluently. And this is one of the struggles actually of the students. They cannot, um, they cannot translate their, their thoughts into, into written words, okay? What are the factors? We will uh, know later. Uh, writing fluency is defined as writing with accuracy and speed that's according to uh, Johnson and Street. And according to, and um, according to, uh, Gillespie and uh, Graham, students who do not write sentences fluently can find writing cognitively demanding because they spend much of their energy writing individual letters legibly, okay? Uh, and spelling words correctly. So uh, these efforts can be, can, can be of, uh, uh, if, if students spend much of their energy writing uh, individual letters, legibly and spelling words correctly, these efforts can be, of, can, can be a drain on students' working memories. And as a result, yung mga bata hindi na mag-exert mag uh, ng effort to spend time uh, revising what they have written. Uh, however, when students can write sentences fluently, there is less demand on their working memories and they can devote their cognitive um, efforts to more complex tasks, okay? And skills such as writing paragraph, uh, essays, and use uh, specific writing strategies, okay? One activity that we can use to assess or one teacher uh, made, uh, I, I prepared a teacher made diagnostic tool uh, to assess, okay? The student's writing fluency uh, which is the use of um, diagnosing their uh, writing and language comprehension of students using timed practice. But I'll, I'll show later on, okay, on how this assessment is, is done, okay. Um, there are uh, factors, and the second one is content, okay. Uh, content is the second factor, okay. Next to fluency, uh, a factor to consider. In, 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 write, in the writing product. It includes the compositions, organization, cohesion, um, what else, accuracy, okay? In, in, in expository writing and originality in creative writing. So in, in organization, we can ask, is, is there a good beginning uh, sentence? Claro bang ending, okay? Meron bang logical sequence, ng, for example, subtopics? In, in, in cohesion, we can ask, um, did the students uh, stick sa topic? Okay, nag-stick ba ang, ang, ang students sa topic? Or baka hindi, baka uh, uh, hindi na siya nag-stick, okay? Nakaroon na ng, 
ng um, different topic. Conventions. In order to fulfill communicative function of writing, okay, the product must be readable. Okay? It follows the standard convention of written English like um, correct spelling, what else? Punctuation, capitalization, grammar, and legible handwriting. I know a lot of our students um, struggle with this. Students mm, struggle in spelling and handwriting, and it has a, a number of negative consequences. One is, if, if you cannot read the message, you cannot get it. Okay. Second is, if, if the message has a lot of spelling miscues, people would devalue what, what you say and, and difficulties in these areas uh, interfere with, with other writing processes. Okay. That's why we need to diagnose our students to provide um, extra attention to these skills. Okay. Syntax. It refers to the arrangement of words and phrases to create well-formed uh, well sentences in a language. Beginner writers often produce sentences that follow a repeated, for example, paulit-ulit ang subject verb or subject verb uh, object pattern, okay? And we need to teach them gradually how to, uh, to plan, how to write and revise using um, mature sentences, okay? Let us model, okay? As teachers, let us model how to make simple sentences into complex, uh, se uh, complex sentences. And lastly, we have the vocabulary, okay? The words used in a, in a student's composition can be evaluated according to the uniqueness or maturity of the words used in a composition. One of the problems of the students is their familiarity with the words and 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 uh, choices of words. Okay, you know, if 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 our students struggle with the words, um, they're going to produce less. Okay, especially if we ask them to to write about the things that they do not know about, then uh, we put them at risk in terms of what we are hoping to see in the product. Okay, so we need to teach uh, some ways on. On, on how to organize ideas and how to how, how, how to get those ideas. Okay, so we have several ways to assess writing and language comprehension of the students. And the most common method uh, that we use is um, some sort of, of, of rubric, okay? Other forms of, of, of writing and language assessment use checklist or Writing scales. So I'll present to you some ways on how to assess writing and language comprehension skills of our students using a teacher-made tool. Okay. So the first one is diagnostic assessment using teacher observation uh, checklist, which involves the process. Okay. Observations uh, assist teachers in gathering evidence of, of student learning to inform instructional um, strategies or instructional planning, okay? Um, the second one is uh, diagnostic assessment using performance test. Um, the second um, way to assess the student is for the use of performance test, which requires um, tangible output that serves as evidence of learning, okay? And the third one is uh, diagnostic assessment using time practice, okay? And time practice refers to, to um, any exercise in which students have specified amount of time to, to write, okay? Some of my, um, of, of my tools here I got, sa, sa Vibal, at, um, yeah, Vibal Learn at Home Kit, okay? If, if you're having trouble to uh, look, looking for um, activities or, um, um, activity sheets for, for, for your students, you can, you can access, um, you, you can go to Viba, uh, Learn at Home Kit, and you can access those um, activities for, for free. All right, um, diagnostic assessment using teacher observation checklist. When we want to determine the reasons of, for, for, for writing comprehension and language problems, and the student's needs, okay? It is 
very best to look at the process of writing. Okay, how do students plan? How do they organize, write, uh, edit, revise? Okay, what are the steps uh, students go through and strategies that they use at writing? Okay, so we have here. Let's take a look at this assessment that I got from the Vibal Learning at Home Kit in English Primary, page uh, two and three. Okay, so here we are asking our students to write uh, a short paragraph about himself. Okay, how well do you know about, uh, about how do, how well do you know yourself? Write a short paragraph about yourself. Okay, and we um, we identify the the skill that the students need to learn, which is writing uh, different forms of of simple composition. Then ginamit natin yung assessment ng Vibal to measure their uh, their comprehension. Okay, so with this activity, we can easily assess their comprehension skills through observing the process that they went uh, through, okay? Here we can diagnose kung paano, kung anong stage ng writing process na karoon ng difficulty si, si student, okay? During planning ba, organizing, writing, uh, editing, and revising. And the result uh, would help us make necessary interventions, okay? So we have here, uh, itong diagnostic assessment tool can, can be accessed, uh, can be assessed using teacher observation checklist of the writing process, okay? Um, how did the student plan during the process? Uh, did, the, did, did the student read the sample paragraph about a girl's description provided? Ilalagay lang kung, kung yes or no, kung ano yung na-observe sa bata. Of course, the teacher will be the one uh, accomplishing this one, okay? And ganun din kung yung student ba was able to arrange uh, the sentences in proper order, okay? And through this, uh, the teacher would be able to identify the reasons why the student has comprehension problems in, in, in writing, okay? And, and, and we can modify this. We can use this checklist. Uh, we can modify based on, 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 on the, um, the test, okay? We can, change the in, we can modify the indicators based on the test that we gave to the student, okay? So we have here the, the, the example observation of a teacher Sabata in, in his writing process, okay? Uh, the student was able to, to, to read the topic and was able to answer the guide questions. However, he had a problem in, in, in organizing his ideas. Um, a problem of spelling, um, a problem of vocabulary, so choice of words, um, structure. So dahil sa assessment na ginawa natin, bibigyan natin ng proper instruction si student, okay? Para ma-meet yung, yung mga needs niya. All right? Using a uh, uh, teacher observation checklist of the writing process, okay? Now, if you want to, to make it more detailed or specific, we can, we can pattern our uh, tool sa na-present ko kanina na, na, na power, okay? We have planning, organizing, uh, revising, editing, and and um, uh, writing, editing, and revising, okay? So um, here's the planning, next struggle bus, the student in, 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 in uh, planning. Um, ano yung mga, ano yung mga uh, strategies na ginawa niya or na ginamit niya, okay? Okay, you can also uh, do this way to make it more uh, detailed or specific. Okay, organizing, there are strategies for organizing ideas. Uh, do students decide which organizational pattern to use to help them organize their ideas? Okay, um, in writing uh, here, um, what are the difficulties being experienced by, by the student in writing? Okay. Do students write in 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 uh in in complete sentences, right? And in editing, do students reread and evaluate their drafts? Mayroon ba silang ginawa para para uh ma mark in parts na hindi klaro sa kanila? Okay. So here, let let, let us help uh with, with, through the use of this observation uh checklist, we will be able to to help students become familiar okay with how with how they get with how they they carry out how how they plan how they revise how 
how they edit, okay, and have 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 mass have, have student master uh, uh, those things, and we encourage them to use those things. And of course, in revising, you must student ban again incorporate and changes and improvements as they rewrite their composition. Okay, so at um, uh, the, 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 the teacher will be the one to, to uh, of course, to answer this. Okay, because based ito sa kanyang observation, doon sa bata during the writing process. Okay, so using this tool, we can identify kung ano yung mga writing difficulties, kung anong, anong, anong stages ng writing na karoon ng, ng problem or uh, it, it's uh, challenging. Okay, sa mga bata through obser uh, observation. Okay, next one is diagnostic assessment using performance test. Uh, a performance test is a learning activity or assessment that students do to demonstrate their knowledge, um, understanding, and, and proficiency. Um, it did, using this one, it requires students to, to, um, to have a tangible output, okay? That would serve as an evidence of their learning Okay, um, examples are um, products, okay, these are products or uh, work samples. Now, an effective writing process, like what I've said a while ago, should lead to a successful product. Okay, let's take a look at this performance test na nakuha ko sa Vibal Learning at Home Kit in English uh, Secondary, page 16 and 17. So here, we are asking our students to write a persuasive speech, okay? At yun ang competency na gusto nating ma-diagnose sa kanila. Uh, the student is asked to write a speech, yes? And this time, we will assess the student's product using, using a scoring rubric, okay? Giving emphasis on content, organization and structure, um, and the use of language, okay? Um, a rubric is an assessment a tool used to measure the students' um, work in order to, to, to get students to think about what is expected of their work, okay? So your rubric natin should be based on the learning outcomes or competencies that we want to um, assess to our students, okay? So here uh, you can assess your um, students' comprehension in terms of organization of his speech, okay? Okay ba ang ideas na na-present niya? Or uh, is, is there a logical sequence of ideas? Si student ba nag-stick, gaya na sinabi nang kanina, did he stick in, in uh, the topic? Or did the student use proper writing conventions? Okay, you know, um, an effective writing process should lead to a successful product. Okay, of course, if our students were able to plan, to organize, to write, edit, and revise well, magiging okay din ang kanilang writing product. You know, it's it's a pleasure. Okay, it's, it's a pleasure for us teachers to to read uh, compositions na well na well constructed, di ba? Ang sentences at sa kameron siyang uh, that the student was able to make a um, rich variety of words. Okay, and um. So diagnosis natin, if you know, if, if we make diagnosis, mapapansin natin, we will observe that that um, uh, students really struggle on this part. Okay, how to to to, to create sentences um, properly? Okay, how to make use of 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 uh, words, different words? How to make uh, how how to choose? Okay, the right words that they need to uh, use in in doing the, their uh, test. Okay, diagnostic assessment using time practice. Okay, one assessment tool that we can use to identify our uh, students' writing and language comprehension is the use of time practice. Okay, what is time practice? It refers to any exercise in which students have a specified amount of time to write. For example, um, students may be instructed to write as as, as many sentences as they can in one minute. Okay, how do we do this one? Uh, so, sasabi natin, um, okay, we have here the directions. Present a collection of 10 unique images. Okay, I, I just included two here, but we have to uh, present 10. 
it with uh, two words that help describe the image. Okay, for example, in number one we have uh, the first feature we have Denise and firewood. Okay, and to the right of the the pictures and words is a space for students to write a sentence about each image. So sa sa mga bata, here is um how, how do we do this one? Here is a set of, of feature word prompts, okay? On the left side, you can see a series of, of 10 features, okay? There are also words uh, related to the features. Now, I want you to write one sentence to go with each feature. You can use the words to help you decide to write uh, what, what to write, okay? And you give, you, you, you give, um, your students time to to, to look at the, 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 the pictures and the related words okay and then if if they have questions you can ask them to to uh, clarify um, questions about about the pictures or the words okay and uh, you'll have they, they, they have one minute to, to to write as many sentences as they can using these pictures okay then the teacher will set a timer okay one minute after one minute, sa sabini teacher, please put your pencils down. Okay. Question. Uh, paano pag si student walang experience uh, sa picture word prompts? Okay. Um, if, if if the students do not have experience with picture word prompts, si teacher pwede niyang introduce sa bata. Okay. At pwede niyang model kung paano gamitin ng images and 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 words to write a sentence to to, to write a sentence. Okay. The teacher can can set uh, can set a timer. For, for himself and perform a, a think aloud while writing the picture uh, word prompt. For example, during the modeling, uh, the teacher can say, here is a, a picture of a man throwing, uh, throwing away trash. There are two words to help me write a sentence. Okay, we have uh, the words are Greg and trash. Okay, I can write my sentence on the lines uh, right next to the picture and words. Okay, so as a winning teacher, I could write, Greg threw away the trash. See, si teacher is a sulat niyang sentence at papakita sa mga students kung, kung paano gawin. Okay, and, and notice that, 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 that I start my sentence with a capital letter and ended with uh, a punctuation. Okay, I also used capital letter for the person's name and I spelled my words correctly, okay? So in this assessment, the teacher can explicitly identify the, 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 the specific uh, instances of, of appropriate grammar, what else, uh, capitalization and, and punctuation, okay? Kung na, 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 nagawa ng mga bata, okay? Just um, in, in this uh, tool, you just have to create a, a scoring guide or a, a rubric para ma-identify ng, ng mabuti kung ano yung mga strengths uh, and, and areas na, na challenge yung sa bata, okay, in doing this test. The teachers, um, the, the teacher needs to, to set a scoring um, guide, okay. And ang challenging lang, of course, in, 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 the, in online uh, teaching or distance um, education, we cannot monitor the, the student, right? Baka mamaya when we give, when we give diagnostic tests using this, this tool, ang, ang gumawa pala magulang kasi gusto, gusto, the, the, the parents want to want, want their children to to uh, pass the test okay and this, that will be a problem okay so the, the thing is we should orient the parents uh, as well that our purpose in giving tests is to identify the problems of their child in in, in, in writing and language comprehension okay at kung anong remediation ang pwede natin magawa to to, to address their needs. Okay, we can also use this one. Nakuha ko ulit sa sa Vibal Learn at Home Kit. Okay, the student is asked to write a, a tour material. Okay, do you feel the direction is? Um, uh, do you feel proud of your identity as a Filipino? Would you like if people from other countries would would uh, come to visit, see and how more about country? If it uh, was up to you. How would you introduce the Philippines to them? Try waiting. Uh, try writing a reason flyer that will exhibit 
the beauty of the Philippines. So here I uh, introduced uh, four words, okay? Or, or you can add more, okay? Uh, majestic, breathtaking, scenic, and uh, treasure, okay? Using this activity, we can help uh, students become familiar with, with new words, okay? Uh, um, we, we can use graphic organizers to, to, uh, to do this test, okay? And madaming, um, madaming performance tests, madaming activity sheets na makikita natin sa Vibal uh, Learn at Home Kit, okay? And are of great help. In, in developing writing and language, not only writing and language comprehension, okay, but may mga, uh, but uh, the, the, the skills that students need to, to master. All right, uh, interpreting the results of the diagnostic assessment after giving diagnosis is very important. After identifying and analyzing the, the, the writing and language skills that students need to learn, and designing the assessment, okay, that is aligned to the writing and language comprehension skills to be measured. What's what's next? Okay, we have to interpret the results of the teacher-made diagnostic uh, test because through this we can make uh, instructional support, okay, that would fit to the diagnosed uh, needs of our students. Okay, so here, what are what what are the other strategies that you? that we can use in teaching writing and language uh, or to develop uh, writing and language comprehension skill in, in uh, our students, okay? Um, the issue here actually is that teaching writing um, specifically is, is it's a lot of um, students, you no, know, based on the observation, students struggle with the words, okay? And if, if, if uh, they struggle with the words, sabi ko kanina, they, will not, they won't be able to produce what is expected uh, of them, right? And if we ask them to, uh, to, 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 to uh, make uh, tasks that, are, um, that they do not know about, but we, we, we put them into risk na yung product, yung, hindi, hindi masasatisfy ng student kung ano yung product na dapat ay expected sa kanila. Okay? So number one, daily practice. Okay? Daily practice, um, have students write every day for a, for a minimum of 10 minutes. Uh, alternatively, this can be assigned as homework with a minimum of one paragraph to be written. Okay? This can be a daily a journal or, or a letter. Okay? Daily practice will, will create a, a productive habit for students that will make the skill of writing much more familiar. Okay? So, so writing improves with, with practice and writing on a daily basis means, means a lot of practice. When students write every day, they, they train their brain to uh, think faster and more efficiently. Okay. Second strategy is restating sentence. Okay, have students rewrite several sentences in their own words. This will help uh, both reading and writing comprehension. Okay, it will help their writing skills as they have to choose uh, words that uh, match the words that they uh, read. Strategy number three is um, summaries. Okay, have students read uh, uh, a selection and summarize it, okay? Students will have to understand that um, material in order to uh, write summary, it provides them to uh, more practice, okay? So here, uh, teachers may utilize graphic organizers para mas maintindihan ng bata kung paano ang mga process, kung ano yung mga... Um, Kung ano ang dapat gawin, okay? Uh, during in in uh, doing in doing this this activity. Four, writing short stories. Have students create stories in in writing, okay? This strategy lets students practice writing while allowing them to also be creative, okay? Pwedeng uh, gawin natin to sa mga um, um, high school students, okay? Or pwede din sa elementary, we can um, make it more simple para gradually ma, um, as, as they reach um, into uh, 
uh, as they uh, reach um, the next levels, okay, mas ma-improve pa nila, mas ma-develop pa nila ang kanilang writing skills. Okay, um, so these are actually the important uh, things that we have to know in, in, in writing a diagnostic tool, okay? We have to understand the process that the students are, um, are uh, going through as, as they write their um, composition, for example, okay? The product and of course, the purpose. Why are we doing this, okay? We want to, it's, it's because we want to diagnose their, um, uh, their uh, uh, strengths and weaknesses or areas that are challenging for, uh, for them. All right, so uh, that's all about my presentation, Ms. Jillian. I'm ready now to enter the, uh, entertain questions if there, uh, there's any. Thank you very much, sir. Now we will proceed to the question and answer portion. Our first question is from Jocelyn Argueles. Paano po ang batang pagkaturo mo ngayon? Mamaya maya, wala na po. Di na naman niya po yeah. alam. Uulitin ulit at same scenario. Nakalimot na naman po. Yes, kaya uh, yes, um kaya uh, sabi ko kanina, ano, have have students master, okay? Um the skills na uh, let, let, let's uh, give um uh, activities. Let's provide activities for them. Na na uh, na ma practice yung yung uh, skills na, na dapat ay uh, ma develop sa kanila. Okay. Um, what else? We should always uh, we should also remind them. Okay. Na, na they have to master this para the next time that we give um, activities, eh um magagawa nila tama. So providing activities, okay. If 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 students have hard time, okay, uh, doing uh, activities over and over again, um, uh, let let let's give them more activities, okay. Uh, practice, uh, practice. Um, let 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 them practice, okay, or let them master these uh skills through giving activities that would help them develop. Uh, the skills that are um, required for them. Thank you very much, sir. Our next question is from Carolina Espiritu. Is there interrelationship between developmental disorders of reading and spoken language? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ms. Yulin. Is there interrelationship between developmental disorders of reading and spoken language? Uh, reading and spoken language. Um, uh, like what I've said, if if uh the, the, these two are actually uh in uh uh linked, right? If if a student has problem in in reading, of course he won't be able to express uh himself in in a spoken language in oral language, right? So um, we need to identify the the skills. Kung ano yung mga challenging areas. Kaya we, we really need to diagnose okay, para malaman natin kung anong challenging areas sa, sa mga anong areas sa mga bata ang, ang, ang challenging okay because again if if a child or if a student has difficulty in in reading okay it would also affect other uh, uh, other um, uh, skills Thank you, sir. And our last question is from Ian Palma. How can we encourage students to write legibly and express their thoughts and ideas in an online class? Oh, yeah. uh, in an online class, um, uh, let's, uh, since we're giving them an independent task, okay, um, let's um, provide them, uh, how do you call this one? Um, Activities, okay. Uh, give the students um, their independent writing test, okay. And um, students should be tell them that they should still be working on their the, on their writing, okay. And um, since these students are writing at home, they might not write for as long as we wish uh, they would, okay. Because uh, virtual learning is hard, so our expectations will need to. 
uh, also be modified slightly. Okay, if students are, for example, if students are using a notebook, you can have them um, uh, take pictures of their work. Okay, and and and, and email it to you or post it in your uh, uh, using your online platform. Okay? So it's just about providing activities, um, good activities. Okay, that would help these students master the the necessary skills that are that they are required in um based on on, on the uh, level Ms. Julia? that's all the questions we have for now any last reminders to our viewers for today paul sir um i want to end this one with this uh, a teacher cannot make an appropriate instructional match between a student's skills an appropriate test without assessment, okay? So it is very important to make diagnostic assessments because the results would uh, inform instruction and intervention, all right? Again, lalo po ngayon at modular at online po tayo, teachers, um, teachers should inform the, the parents kung ano yung diagno di diagnostic test at bakit tayo nagkoconduct ng diagnostic test sa mga anak nila, okay? Sabihin natin kung... Uh, sabi natin na ang resulta ng diagnosis ay paraan para makabuo sa teacher ng tamang instruction para sa anak nila. Okay? And with that, I would like to, uh, to thank uh, everyone na nakasama ko ba this evening. My um, classmates and friends in Yumang, DEM class, are watching. Shout out din po sa mga kasamaan ko po sa Makari High School, especially po sa English and uh, Senior High School Department. My friends and family are also watching all the way from Kabaga and Sabela. Uh, just a gabi uh, and uh, good evening po and also um, my friends in the metropolitan and uh, delphin albano high school isabella state university good evening po salamat po and uh, uh, kiss, keep safe po sa lahat thank you po vival there we have it in behalf of vival group incorporated i would like to thank our speaker for today for this eye-opening and insightful learning session it is an honor to have you with us today, sir. And to all our Kavibal viewers, all thanks to you for your continuous patronage to our daily learning session. Don't forget to register to get your e-certificate of participation. We also encourage you to subscribe and watch on our official Vibal Facebook and YouTube channel. Muli, maraming salamat at magandang araw sa ating lahat.